O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, when your providence raised up Pope Pius, Pope St. Pius V in your church, that the faith might be safeguarded, and more fitting worship be offered to you, grant through his intercession that we may participate in your mysteries with lively faith and fruitful charity, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distributions. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task. Whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was accepted to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also Philip, Prochorius, Nicanor, Timon, Firminius, and Nicholas of Antioch convert of Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the numbers of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient <coughs> to the faith. The word of the Lord. Amen. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, be mercy, be mercy, be mercy. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, which the ten string lyre chant his praises. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of all kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, mercy, See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, among those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, Amen. 
Christ is risen who made all things. He has shown mercy on all people. Alleluia. Gospel according to John. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the Sea of Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boats, and they began to be terrified. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boats, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord. Our gospel is a great reminder that as we trust in the Lord, we are able to make it to safe shores, no matter what might be in front of us. And the desire to take Jesus with us is something that is both good, but also one of possession, to say that we want to take Jesus with us on our boat to, in a sense, use the Lord for those dangerous situations, rather than allowing the Lord to do what the Lord wants to do. It is that great way of balance that, yes, we want to cling to the Lord, we want to know, love, and serve the Lord, but we don't want to have that great sense of ownership, as it were. It is that reminder that C.S. Lewis has in his Narnia series when they talk about Aslan the lion, that Aslan is not a tame lion, that the lion is his own person in a sense, that it's one who is powerful and great, but not a, in a sense, possession. It's a way of thinking of the Lord as, yes, a lover, a friend, one who is there for us, but one who is that we are called to serve, that we are called to live in that light and in that love. It is that great balance at times that is difficult to come by. My dear sisters and brothers, let us continually trust in the Lord and know that the Lord is always willing and wanting to help us. It is our opportunity to ask the Lord, to allow the Lord to do those good things that the Lord wants to do in our lives, to allow the Lord to come in because, again, the Lord would not force himself upon us, but wants us to ask so that we might receive and receive in abundance. My dear sisters and brothers, strengthened by all who serve the church, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For those who shepherd the church as bishops, we pray to the Lord. Amen. For those who lead local communities as priests and pastors, we pray to the Lord. Amen. For those who serve the church as deacons and lay ministers, we pray to the Lord. Amen. For those who serve the poor in Christ's name, we pray to the Lord. For those who care for the sick and the dying, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for Father Vito Marzellano, who we remember at the mass, at its mass today. We pray to the Lord. For those who bear the dead to heaven by their prayers, we pray to the Lord. And for your own intention. We pray to the Lord. God of many gifts, you sustain your holy people through every age and every need. Hear our prayers for those who lead and guide us. May they be good shepherds, leading us to faithfulness on the way to eternal to the eternal sheepfold, where Christ is the gate, both now and forever. Amen. <clears throat>
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Just walk in one, for sure, with your Christ, who will be some, for sure, in our feet. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed are Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify graciously these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, and at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, we're come with pastoral joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer you the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Father, I wish that where I am, those who gave me may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Amen. Together, let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together, let's pray a prayer to our Mother of Mothers, which is on that front uh, cover of the blue jacket. Mother of mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity has so sanctified the state of holy motherhood, imploring thee, I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in thee I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray now my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, Amen. Mother of Mothers, pray for us.